slip into a deeper trance. Hello, it's Mike coming at you with another Planet Coaster Park Spotlight. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to the video. And welcome to Howdywood, created by Macajuice. Now, Macajuice requested this spotlight on my YouTube channel and has also been a big supporter of the channel as well, commenting on a lot of my videos. So thank you ever so much for that. I really appreciate it. But I'm extremely excited to have a special guest with me today. Now, there are some that say that she single-handedly carries M&J's YouTube channel and that she's actually considering going solo, just like Beyonce, to have more success. I have Jasmine from M&J Games. Say hello, Jasmine. Hi, guys. I'm so glad to be here. Oh, I'm happy to have you here as well. We've been meaning to do this for so long. We've been saying since about October that we need to do a joint spotlight yeah. together, and finally we're here. But let's have a look at this park on the workshop, shall we? So the description reads, Old legend says there is no better place to heal a broken heart than on the back of a horse. Now there is a better place. So rope them, tie them and sell the horse to go get y'all both some tickets for this park. Argue all you want. You and the other guests won't hear a thing with all these gunshots, flames and chains. Best kind of therapy. No smoking allows. We use we use wood a lot. What a park description. That is amazing. <laughs> So here we are at the park entrance. So straight out of the entrance tunnel, straight to this entrance building. Really great build. Now, I have seen this before in other spotlights. It is a building that I am familiar with. I think I've seen it more than once. But what he has done here is actually extended it as well. It's like so it goes down the sides here as well. I mean, what are your initial thoughts on this, Jasmine? Just from this entrance way. Yeah, I like it. <clears throat> I really love the name Howdy Wood. I think that's so clever. <laughs> it's certainly original um, and unique. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, no, I, I like how busy this entrance is because, you know, sometimes people make really big entrances and it doesn't look like there's anybody in the park. But this is like straight in your face, directly in your face, right when you walk in. So I really like this. Uh, one thing that I will say straight away is that MacGS did actually message me and said that he has used a lot of creations from the workshop in this park. And he was a little bit worried about that fact because of how many workshop items there were. Now, of course, a lot of people do use workshop items, which is absolutely fine, so long as you're giving credit to the original owner, which he has done. Um, there are a lot of signs around the park claiming who it was by. And as Jasmine will probably agree with me, it's, it's all well and good using workshop items, but you still have to be able to integrate them into the park and make them work with what you're doing. And you still build around them. And what he has done in this park, which I found very impressive, was how he's been able to integrate these workshop items as well. But yeah, I love this entrance. And just as we went down that pathway there, I was just having a look at that, which takes you obviously, of course, around the monorail, around the park, which we don't want to do yet because that's just going to show off too much around the park. But um, are you in agreement with that as well, Jasmine, about obviously using workshop items? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've used workshop items and um, it's, it's always nice to see other people, how they make um, <clears throat> creations and... I mean, that's what the workshop is for, you know, just as long as you're giving credit where credit's due. Yeah, yeah, 100%. I mean, and there is a certain skill level of placing down other people's things in your park as well, because you have still got to, like, theme around them. Um, you, it's all well and right. good taking like these things from the workshop and placing it down, but that's not enough. Sometimes you need, need to theme around it, you need, need to do your queue lines, you need to do your foliage around it, your pathwork around it. So it's not just as easy as taking it off the workshop, banging it down and being like, well, that's it now, we're done. It doesn't work like that. Right. Right, yeah, it needs to be a cohesive. That That's, yeah, coherent. Yeah, coherent. Cohesive. Yep. I couldn't have said a better word. Thank you for <laughs> thank you for educating me there. <laughs> See, having Jasmine on the channel makes me sound more intelligent. Because I am extremely intelligent. I had a good education, me. 
<laughs> so anyway, <laughs> we're coming up here, and this gives some beautiful sight lines of the park as well. There's so yeah, much I really going like on. that. Mhm. Mm um, like that. Um, I forget what that. Oh, log flume. <laughs> the yeah. log flume. And we've got the mine train just over there as well, which is what we're heading over towards now. So let's have a walk down this bridge. I love the sight I like lines this, this bridge. bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Simple and effective, but it does what it needs to because it just gives some really nice sight lines as you're coming down. I mean, like, just stopping and looking that way. Yeah, wow. Um, now, this is a PS5 park, and it is a 100% on a PS5. And you can see why as well as we go around this park. But we have the Roping Rosie. Now, some of the names for the rides in this park are amazing. It's got some of the funniest names for the rides ever. And this was created by Viper P -A -P -S J. So we'll have a walk down the queue path. We're just going to cut over that. I like how the train just goes around there mm -hmm. like that. Nice. And we come down here, cut in here, and we have the station in here. So we've got Ooh. this upper station bit just up here. Very nice. Look at all this yellow smoke as well. <laughs> That's going on around. Like a real, like proper kind of like mine feel as well, isn't it? With all the yellow smoke that goes on. Yeah, I forget about using the special effects sometimes. Uh, they take up a really... lot of percentage as well, that's the oh, problem. Oh, do they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But anyway, let's have a look at the stats for this, shall we? So, no, that was Dottie Vansom. That was a guest. <laughs> to be fair, that's a good name for somebody visiting a Western park. <laughs> I mean, this, so we have Roping Rosie. So green across the board. Very nice. G-Force is within some really good limits as well. So, yeah, very nice. So... Without further ado, let's go for a ride on this first ride of the park. Enjoy, everybody. Right, so there we have Roping Rosie. So, Jasmine, what were your thoughts? I really liked the um, the cave system and the rocks and going in and out of the mountain. I thought that was was really cool. That's always something that I've, I'm super impressed with when creators can make coasters that go in and out of terrain and things like that. So, I really liked it. What do you think? This is a bit of a strange one for me, actually. I'm not going to lie. Because, yeah. obviously, of course, this the actual coaster itself was not his creation. But a lot around it would have been his creation. Now, the coaster itself, I'm going to be honest, I, I wasn't really much for it. I think it was extremely fast. Um, required quite a lot of smoothing, it needed banking in quite a lot of places, but then the theming around it was absolutely fantastic. So the stuff mm -hmm. that has been added himself was really, really good. Like you said, the way that it's interacting with the terrain, 
the strongest aspect of that coaster was the stuff that he did himself rather than the coaster design. Now, I would have liked to have actually seen him do the coaster himself, to be honest. Yeah. Because I think yeah. that would have been better. And what what we were saying at the very start of the video is it's all well and good taking these workshop items, but then you've got to integrate them yourself. This was integrated so, so well into the park. And the things that he's done around it were absolutely fantastic. And the sight lines that it gives. I mean, there was one in particular that I was, even as we were going around Chasmin, I said to you, wow, look at that sight line that it gives. And and that's not mm -hmm. something you can take from a from the workshop. You can't fabricate a sight line from, a, from the workshop. That's something that you need to do yourself. Um, I'm just trying to find it. it it's quite a long ride. Um, where was I feel it? like no. it was towards the end. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here maybe... we go. Yeah. Here we go. As it came up and around here. And I was like, oh, look at that sight line. And that's not something that you can cheat from taking off the workshop. That's something that you've done yourself. So, yeah, yeah it, for me, that was a bit of a mixed bag. Um, the ride itself yeah, I didn't yeah. like, but the experience and looking around and all the theming around it I loved. So... Yeah, yeah. Th just that just that drop that um <clears throat> where the nice sight line was you could see i could see that it did need a little some smoothing it was a little bit rough um uh on that on that drop there but yeah i i think i feel like um the creator probably could have made a coaster for this you know instead of using somebody else's yeah but i think i think they did a really good job though with with like you said with all the scenery and the theming the, the, oh, I, I love all the detailing that is going on everywhere you know i mean all yeah. the stuff is not taken from workshop none of this is taken from workshop this is all stuff that he's kind of like integrated into the park himself and i love that i think that's absolutely amazing really yeah. it really does proper nail that western theme as well it really does it's interesting to me that he chose the monorail for this park instead of one of the trains yeah <clears throat> yeah yeah and especially coloring it red as well um mm -hmm. it's certainly different it's, it's a unique park i'm certainly going to give it that much i mean props for originality um, there's certainly some unique things in this park, but we've got this drop tower here. So Black Dutch by Mr. Bur Burb 58. Again, very nicely integrated. I'm not sure what would have been like the blueprint and what would have been like then added himself, but mm -hmm. yeah, very nicely done regardless. And as we come down here, we've just got a block of toilets here. Da, 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 da. We carry on. We've got a gold pee. <laughs> that that toilet said, "Wash your hands." <laughs> wash your hands on the sign. Do your business. Do you... Wash your hands. <laughs> I like that. All right, and we come down here. Right. So what have we got down here? So we have uh, Rocky Rock. So by Pilot Cap Dejani, and I believe. This is a River Rapids. So we'll just have a walk through the building. I like how he's got this canopy over the building as well. Of course, this is something he would have had to have done himself um, because the queue lines don't come in blueprints. So I like that. And what we'll do, I think this is a relatively small River Rapids to be honest. So I think what we'll do is we'll have a ride round on this and we'll have a good old chinwag as we go around. So let's go for a ride. Yeah, I completely agree. I really liked that. I think it was integrated really, really well. As I said, as we were going around, just really compact, tactful, great theming all the way around. Loads of hashtag rock work as we went around. So, yeah, great job with that. Nothing else to add, to be honest. So, let's hop out the exit, which brings us straight to this ride here. So, we have Kid Flood, which is his first ride that he made himself so looking forward to hop into this one so 
Again, we've got some custom covering just over the queue line. Always nice to see. I know Michael does love his custom covering, doesn't he? And he appreciates that when he sees them <laughs> in spotlights as well, doesn't he? Yes. So, right. So nice, simple and effective station. Nothing too flashy and fancy going on in here. So let's have a look at the stats for this. So uh, we have green across the board once again. Very nice. G-forces maybe slightly on the high side. Maybe just try and keep them under six where possible. But anyway, let's go for a ride on this. Enjoy everybody. So, there we go. And now, I'm going to be honest. For me, that ride was better than the mine train. If I'm being honest. And that was one that you built yourself. Now, it did require some smoothing in a couple of places. It was a little bit janky, maybe in the odd one or two places. Just from the some of the transitions into the inversions as well. Maybe I thought it was just a little bit haphazard. But on the whole, I think that was a really, really good coaster. Maybe with the exception of that bit there. I'm, I'm not sure what I thought of this upside down bit here. Just as it went yeah. into that. Maybe just a little bit unrealistic there. But besides that, yeah, I thought that was a really, really good coaster. And quite a substantial step up from the previous coaster that we went on. Uh, Jasmine, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I agree. Um, I definitely liked it. Um, I think, yeah, I, that would be my only critique, like you said, with that little kind of upside down part. That seems a little intense, but um, but other than that, I think I think it, it's a really good coaster. Yeah, great job. Yep, which proves you are more than capable of doing your own coasters. So for your next park, I want to see all of your own custom builds because I know you can do it. <laughs> I know you can do it. Have have a bit of faith. Have a bit of belief. And do it. I know you can do it. I want to see your second park with no workshop items in it at all. So there you go. <laughs> Challenge on. So, right. I think we have almost done this half of the park. I think. What have we got down here? Oh, we've just got this uh, flat ride just around this corner. Around here. Now I've what have we got here? So we have the Garden of Eden hot food. So we've just got more toilets. Hang on, what's this? Where does this go over here? Oh, right, okay. Tell a light. We've got another coaster over here. I'm just going to have to have a quick zoom out a second, I think, just so I can get my bearings a little bit. So um, we've obviously done there. We've done all that entrance. So we've gone up around there. We've done the rapids. So, right, we're just coming back down here. Okay, yep. Okay, I've got my bearings. It's all good. Don't worry about it. So we have NH99's um, playground, which we see all the time. Um, you see that all the time as well, don't you, Jasmine, with spotlights that you do with Michael? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. I've seen a few people use it. I, I mean, it's such a good playground. You can see why as well. Um, it's just an incredible build and the amount of people that use it it must be one of the most downloaded things on the playstation to be honest is his playground just because it's so good um don't miss lifeguard larry over here look <laughs> Cow cowboy lifeguard larry so that's very funny nice. i love his humor i love the humor in this park now i'm just trying to work out where the entrance for this ride was i think what we just did was we walked up the exit path. So what we'll do is we'll carry on walking around as normal until we reach the entrance and do it properly. 
So, one thing that I did notice in this park um, is the amount of shops that you've got. Now, you've got 82 shops in this park. Oh, now, wow. For me, that is probably too many. Um, I would probably look at reducing that maybe even by half. I'd look at reducing that maybe down to about 40, which of course would then would bring down your percentage count of a lot, which would then allow you to then add a lot more in as well. So, yeah, yeah I, I, I just think 80 is, is, is too many, if I'm honest. But anyway, we've got this Helium ring here. Now, I think this was a workshop item, I think think i'm just trying to see if i can find the entrance ah there we go so again that was by viper psj once again so we have looping luke oh, i love these names jasmine i think the names are amazing <laughs> yeah but again really nice helium ring nicely themed to the western theme once again and then we have barry backward <laughs> 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 that name is amazing. Barry Backward. That's ace. And this is an original build. So let's have a look at Barry Backward, shall we? Oh, that is one of my favorite names for a coaster ever. That is just fantastic. And a lovely queue line as well. Just with the theming around it. So, right. Let's have a look at Backward Barry. I just want to keep saying it. Backward Barry. So, awesome, really nice um, stats on that green across the board. G-forces, some really good limits as well. So, let's go for a ride on this. Enjoy, everyone. So, Jasmine, what were your thoughts? Well, I I do I do like these kinds of coasters, but that did seem very fast, especially the <laughs> the um, uh, I can't tell which part that was, but um, uh, I can't I can't remember what those kinds of twists are called. Oh, the it like was the very very bits. fast. Yes, very fast. That's that's my uh, that's my big critique. I'm actually really surprised that it's all green on this one, <laughs> just because it was so fast. Now, for me, actually, that was actually my favourite ride of the three so far. You know, <laughs> um, I, with the exception of the corkscrew bit, I will 100% agree. Oh my god, when you watch it go around I mean... there. Um, yeah. With the exception of that corkscrew bit, for me, I would be very tempted to straight line that. I, I don't think you'd need the corkscrew bit there, if I'm honest. I think that's a little bit yeah. too much. But the rest of the ride, I think, was really good. I think it was the smoothest of the three rides that we've been on so far. I love the pyrotechnics 
that you've got going on at the top here. And I really like the theming of it as well, all around it. The fact that you've built one of these to a Western theme. I believe that's the first time I've seen that done for one of these rides to have it as a Western theme. So yeah, great coaster. Maybe just change this to straight line. Um, and, and for me, I think that would work. Or maybe just even, maybe just a, like some kind of bunny hop or something like that yeah, potentially. Yeah, that's like, what I was thinking. Maybe yeah. if it kind of like just bunny hopped over and then back down again and then back up because that would then still keep the excitement as it goes because if it just straight lined, it would lose that excitement as it went. But yeah, other than that, yeah, great job and nice to see that as a Western ride as well. So anyway, we walked down the exit before, so I pretty much think I know where I am if I just hop back over here again. And then what we'll do is we'll walk this way, which will take us back to the entrance again. Now let's just make sure that we don't miss anything here, shall we? So I don't think <laughs> I've got the do. quartet. <laughs> yeah, standard. The amount of people... That, I've never put a quartet in my park yet. Um, it's one thing that I've never done. I, think, I do think I need to do that at some point, is put a quartet in. But, right, let's walk down here. And we'll walk over the entranceway and we'll go over to the other side of the park now as we walk over to this side of the park there will be some stuff that i will certainly recognize because they were created by yours truly and then some Yay! of the very first things that i built as well ironically before i even <laughs> started doing youtube i hadn't even thought about doing youtube at that point so right so first off we have the lopside larry <laughs> oh my days and I, I don't know if I can read that name um, is so why we'll go with that yeah we'll go with that <laughs> I can't read that name I'm very sorry but we have the hammer swing so oh it's one of the sci-fi rides see one thing that is jumping out at me now I don't know if you're going to agree with me or not on this Jasmine but the blueprints that I am seeing are not as good as the work that he has done himself. Mm hmm Yeah. I would almost say that the blueprints are pulling the park down a little bit, to be honest, because what he has done yeah. with his theming is fantastic. His rock work, his foliage work, he's used a lot of paint tool as well that I've seen. It's, it's really, like, top-level stuff. But then some of the blueprints that have then been integrated don't have the same level of detail as what he's put in himself. Yeah. So yeah. It, it's a bit of a strange one, um, to be honest. Uh, do, do you kind of like agree? Do you see where I'm coming from? Yeah, well, I think, I think the Western theme is so hard to build. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so I feel like when people use these blueprints in the game, it's not that they're bad, but they are, to me, they just seem a little cluttered, you know? And I don't know, maybe they're supposed to look that way, but... Um, do you know, I'm, I'm kind of like chuckling to myself here, because I've just said some of the blueprints in the park may be pulling it down, and then we come to this. <laughs> Sally yeah. Knee Slap. <laughs> these names, I swear, these names are killing me. So we have Sally Kneeslap, but this was made by Eric Van Megan. And this is sensational. Yeah, Tactful, yeah. really nicely done. Almost very much reiterating everything that you just said as you were saying it. So like an H99, it's not overly done. It's tactful, it's discreet, but it works. Uh, to me, that is fantastic. And that is, so far, the best workshop item he has placed in the park. Because I think that's absolutely brilliant. And very in fitting with a Western theme as well. Now, we've just hovered over that one flat ride for about five minutes. So I feel like we need to just kind of <laughs> quickly, quickly move on. And we have this flat ride here. Now, I can't really give feedback for this. Because um, this was created by... Um, 
Iron um, Manny! Iron Ma- Ma- Mighty? <laughs> Mighty? Don't know who that is. Um, but we have Harry Horse. <laughs> That was not what I named it. I actually prefer his <laughs> name for it. But yeah, this was um, this was the first thing I ever built on Planet Coaster. Literally yeah. the very first thing I built. The first thing I put on the workshop. Um, it's also one of my most downloaded as well, ironically. It looks um, very good. Yeah, I'd, I'll, I'd, I'd never even thought about doing YouTube at this point, And I just kind of just wanted to put a flat ride inside a building. So... I mean, yeah, in hindsight, nice. I can change it a lot in hindsight. There's a lot that I would do, probably do to change it. Like, I'd probably kind of, like, cover the ceiling up a little bit and maybe I'd kind of, like, do a little bit more custom stuff rather than, um, like, the in-game stuff. But, yeah, anyway, that was uh, my contributions to the park. So thank you ever so much for putting me in there. <laughs> really appreciate it. So, yeah. Do you have any feedback for that, uh, Jasmine? Because I can't really give feedback for my own stuff. Well, I'll say... Um... You know, like with with this building, like I was saying before, you know, using a big building like this is to me that's better than using those, you know, little Bluetooth 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 <laughs> little blue <laughs> <laughs> blueprint buildings, you know, from the game. So and 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 this is themed, but it's not overly themed. So I I really like it. Yeah. So basically, the moral of the story is if you're using Bluetooth, be careful what you use. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to let you live that down, though. <laughs> That's it now. You've done it now. Right. <laughs> anyway, let's carry on, shall we? So we have Woody Woody by Solemn Clown. So let's have a walk down this cute path, shall we? So... Uh, this looks like a wooden coaster, which would make sense given the fact that it's called Woody Woody. Um, yeah, I didn't, th <laughs> I didn't think that one through before I said that, did I? Clever mind. <laughs> right, so, again, quite a nice, simple theme station. Um, straight away, I would look at reducing the amount of cars that you've got on there. Because um, you've got people kind of like just... I mean, the, this poor bloke, he's just kind of like sat here waiting and he's like... Yeah, still sat here waiting. So that is straight away that's going to pull down the excitement and fear just because of the amount of time that they sit there waiting. So, I mean, that excitement would probably be green across the board, actually, with yeah. less cars on there. But G Force is really nice, low G Forces, actually. So I wonder if maybe this is more aimed at children, potentially. But anyway, let's go for a ride. Enjoy, everybody. So, there we have Woody Woody. So, for me, that was actually the best ride in the park so far. Now, I know that was a workshop item, but that was the best workshop item in the park so far. It was really smooth all the way around, some really nice tactful banking. I just thought that was a great coaster, to be honest. And once again, the way that you have incorporated it into your park really really good the like i say the only feedback i would give is just reduce the amount of cars that you've got on the track and that is it but other than yeah. that yeah great job uh jasmine what were your thoughts yeah i really liked that too and i i liked how it goes 
in and out it interacts with itself that's that's such a good um a good skill uh when a creator can do that with the coasters and i've actually never built this kind of um wooden coaster in no, the game same. but no no yeah I. yeah i like it though i now now I f i'm inspired to to make one like that <laughs> i think you could really do like kind of a very miniature version of this couldn't you like almost like um an indoor um yeah. almost like like a little horror house kind of like ride like kind of have it go like really slow like maybe just with a couple of little drops like, I, I think it's quite quite a versatile ride to be honest i think yeah. you could use that for quite a lot but yeah anyway great job uh, great incorporation into the park now as we come down here i actually almost want to go for a bit more of an elevated viewpoint for this jasmine because i think there is some stuff down here that you would really appreciate just as we kind of like come down the side here um i mean i always associate you as one of the best foliage creators on the console and what are your Aww, thoughts thanks. oh you are <laughs> but you are it's true um what do you think of like this foliage down here like just the, how, like the way that he's used the differing ones and everything. Yeah, yeah, I I really like that. But you know what really caught my attention was that he made those uh, columns, so those supports for the um, the monorail, oh, and yeah. covered them. That is something that I have not done. But look how good that looks. That looks so what? good. I would have never even noticed that. Yeah, I would have not, yeah. That's a really good spot, actually, because yeah, it's it's it was it's something that's done so tactfully that it. Works. It looks like it was just part of the ride. Yeah, but... yeah, completely. That that looks fantastic. What a great effect as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I completely agree with that. I think that looks absolutely brilliant. I wonder what it would look like with some kind of like foliage around it, you know. Like maybe kind of like just some like kind of a tree going through it. I, I don't know. Maybe that's something yeah. I might have a play with at some point actually. But yeah, this street, like this entire street just looks absolutely brilliant. I, for me, this is my favorite area of the park. Mm -hmm. And and this again is all stuff that he's done himself down here. Now, of course, yeah. there are some in-game blueprints, but a lot of this is kind of like built himself. So, and this is for me, my favorite area of the park. So. But see, I I think I like this better because it's like one long main street. Not that the other side looked bad, but with all those shops and it's kind of twisting and turning and it's felt a little a little cluttered and crowded over there. And then over here, it's like you can kind of breathe a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's two very different halves to a park, isn't it? Um, like one, like almost quite inviting and spacious and coherent in the way that you're going. And then the other side being quite almost like um, cluttered and quite sporadic in placement. Yeah. But not, and I don't mean that in a bad way. It just feels different, you yeah. know? Yeah. No, I, I completely agree with you, actually. I, I understand what you're saying, and I, I, I actually agree with you completely. But I love this, you know. I love that. That yeah. that little style there. I think that's absolutely brilliant. I love that. And we've got another flat ride here. Silly Sally by, by that idiot again. <laughs> uh, honestly, I'm sick Wasn't of... there another, another ride called Sally something? Flapping Sally or something? Oh, probably. I've, I've lost track of the names. <laughs> There's two to be Sallys. Oh, <laughs> silly Sally. But I love this queue line again. And again, this was again one of my very first things that I put on the workshop. So it was an underground collider. And, oh, yeah. Um, so I originally did a Western version, which I put up on the workshop. And then when I went into Eden Gardens, I then decided to take this one and then it obviously incorporates it into a more realistic sense and not a Western theme. So, yeah, another one of my uh, blueprints there. And then just over here, we've got the Howdy Cowgirl Cowboy. I love that. I love the little cowboy on the top. <laughs> Did he make that? He made that, right? I think so, yeah. I think so. He's even holding a little gun look. <laughs> That's so cute. That's amazing. <laughs> it looks like a South Park character. 
It does. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I'm expect I'm expecting somebody That's like that to now be in like South Park. But yeah, I love that. And yeah. anyway, as we come down here, I believe we're coming on towards the end of the spotlight now, Jasmine. I, th I don't think we've got that much more to look at. So we have Super Sheriff, which is one of the in-game uh, coasters, which I don't really feel like the need to go on with it being one of the um, in-game ones. To be honest, it, it just seems almost a little bit... I, I, a lot of people will have already been on it before with it being an in-game blueprint ride, but... <laughs> Really nicely done station again. Again, very nicely tactful. Yeah, I like that. Great job. And we come out of here. I'm just a little bit conscious of the time now. I don't know how long we've been recording for, so I'm starting to now a little bit worry about the time. So I'm kind of like whizzing through a little bit now just in case we go over the hour. So um, I, I love all this here, you know. All and the, the little horse. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I like how the horse is integrated into the light. Yeah. I think that's brilliant. And there's nothing on that side. Now, I'm going to have a quick zoom out because I think we've only got this one coaster, and then there's a log flume, and then there's one more ride there. And I think we're pretty much done then. So, I want to save the coaster till last because it's always yeah. nice to have a coaster last. And I think think this coaster was his own creation I think um, I can't see anything that suggests otherwise so anyway we're gonna go on the coaster last so what we'll do is we'll have a quick walk down here so we have the petroleum peat um, entrance <laughs> here and oh I like this queue line with the oil rig there yeah. So, some really nice detailing around here, actually. I feel like queue lines are the hardest thing to build in the game, but this this creator's done a really good job making these queue lines. Yeah, yeah, completely agree. Now, oh, wow. Oh. Oh, cool. It, it says this is custom, but I thought this was an in-game one? Not gonna lie, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. Not sure on that one. But anyway, I've never actually been for a ride on one of these in a spotlight before. Um, stats, not that it matters. Max speed 100 mile an hour. Oh, awesome. <laughs> right, I want to go for a ride on this because I've never done it. So let's go. I mean, I'm going to let you go first for this one. Um, probably not the <laughs> easiest thing in the world to give feedback for, but what are your thoughts? Well, okay, that tunnel just takes the the whole thing. I think that tunnel is amazing. I, I'm really interested to, to know how he made that because I want to steal that. That looks so good. I think, but don't 100% quote me, I believe that's part of the ride. Is I, it? I believe so. I'll have to have a check oh. after the spotlight, but I, I'm pretty sure that is kind of like well, just part of the ride. I love it. <laughs> I, obviously, I haven't, I've never seen that before, but that looks so cool. Yeah. Um, I, I, I like it. My only thing would be, I feel it's a little bit um, not fitting with the rest of the park. Yeah, I, I, I can agree with that. Yeah. It's, it's kind of modern uh, mm. thing or like sci-fi-ish. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, for me, it, it, it it's a ride that maybe the park could do without that would give a little bit of percentage back to maybe kind of like just touch up in other yeah. places. Anyway, so we have... Jasmine, what's the name of that? I'm not even reading that because I can't without laughing. Willy, Willy Wanted by Digital Venom. Mm-hmm. Thank you. 
I'm not saying I'm not saying the name because I, I need to keep this video <laughs> appropriate for everybody. <laughs> so we're going to skim over that, and um, we're just going to go for an imaginary tour on this log flume. Um, I think Jasmine has had to mute herself for a second while she's laughing. <laughs> yeah, she has indeed. Yeah, I just heard you unmute yourself because you're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, let's uh, go round on um, Well, he wanted. <laughs> Grow up, Matty. Honestly, I'm such a child. <laughs> I'm so childish. I can't help it. No. But, um, That's part of your charm. Oh, we'll, we'll go with that. We'll go with it. <laughs> Do you know what? Even though this is a workshop log flume, I love this. The way that he has done all the terrain and the rock work around it is absolutely sensational. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and that sightline as well. Wow. I think I like this more than the River Rapids one. Mm. But I know the log flume, you know, log flume river rapids are, they're total, they're different, you know. I feel like log flumes are a little more exciting than uh, river rapids. But I think I like, I think I like this one a little bit more. I, yeah, I'm in agreement. I think this one is fantastic. Um, I prefer this one to the River Rapids as well. I think the sight lines that it's giving as it goes around, the theming all the way around, yeah. is just absolutely fantastic. Now, I know that you didn't actually design the log flume yourself, and it's a workshop item, but you did everything else around it. Um, as I said on the mine train at the very start of the video, it, you, you can't create, you can't generate a sight line from the workshop. That is what you do yourself, and this log flume is all about them sight lines. It's a long log flume as well. This must be a big percentage counter, you know. Um, just because this goes on for ages. It's a good job we didn't actually go for a ride on it, Jasmine. Um, we would have been here till next week. <laughs> but, yeah, there we go. I love that. I think that's absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, really I like good. the station too. Mm. Yeah, completely agree. Simple and effective. All it needed to be. So, anyway, we've come up here. Now, I believe before we go on that final coaster, I believe that is everything. I think. Oh, hang on. Is that the same ride? Was that a different ride? Hang on a second. No, that's a different ride. Okay, so we've oh. actually got two coasters. I'm sorry. So. Oh, they're just kind of interacting with right. each other. Right, they're so close to each other that it is actually. Yeah. Right, so it is actually two coasters. So we've got one here. Right, okay. So let's have a walk down the queue line for this one first, shall we then? So that was uh, quite confusing. So, ah, right, okay, so Ritalin. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days <laughs> by KST BRS all right that's what the cute the names for the rides in this park are the best names in any park ever <laughs> they are just absolutely brilliant oh they've been the highlight of the spotlight for me you know oh Willie wanted <laughs> still laughing around that one. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> right. Anyway. Uh, green across the board. Uh, G-forces. Really nice limits. Really good job with that. Let's go for a ride on this. Enjoy everybody.
so yeah really nice coaster it's a bit more difficult to give feedback on this coaster because it's not your own creation and there's not in the sense there's not much in the sense of theming around it. This one is a lot more difficult to give feedback for. So, yeah, really good coaster. I think it was integrated really well. Yeah, great job um, to the original creator on that one. Uh, Jasmine, what were your thoughts as we head over to the final ride? I think maybe the only thing I would say is since that wasn't a coaster that, that he made, possibly lowering it a little bit and then putting in some sort of water special effects on it i don't mm. know just to try to make it a little more his i guess i don't know if you agree but put his own personal stamp on it kind of thing yeah yeah that makes sense actually that does make sense so anyway i'm just bearing right. I'm, 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 <laughs> oh. rodney R rodney robitas <laughs> oh my days <laughs> <laughs> oh. Riddle and Randy and Rodney <laughs> Wow That's funny Green across the board Oh, 8 So Max Vertical G, 8 Now is Ooh. this is her own creation uh, Let's just have a look Yeah, so this was yeah. a custom creation So one of your own creations Let's have a go on this Final ride of the spotlight Let's go, let's do it So, Jasmine, what were your thoughts on that one, then? Yeah, I think, you know, <clears throat> I do love the station design. I, it kind of looks like a church to me. Mm. But I will say, I feel like with this coaster, that it seems kind of extreme. And But with this coaster, we don't necessarily need the other coaster next to it, the Ritalin one, because they're both kind of extreme coasters. And I think it's, I just think it's important to kind of implement some um, coasters that, that offer different, different experiences. So there, there are quite a few extreme coasters in this park. And I think I would have just liked to have, you know, some, some more easygoing uh, coasters in here. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually in agreement with you there. As we were going around the ride, I was a little bit stumped as to where the G-forces were coming from because for me, the first half of the ride was absolutely brilliant. Absolutely amazing. Now, unfortunately for me, the second half of the ride was what really pulled it down. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of two lift hill climbs in parks anyway because mm -hmm. i think it pulls it down but then this second half of the ride just all of this here was so yeah. extreme and very jarring. i mean just that literal drop there alone the way that it leveled out instantly and then just all that there i liked what you were trying to do but for me it it didn't work, I'm afraid, on that bit. I would have much rather seen 
rather than it go up the second climb there for it to have kind of like cut across here maybe had like kind of some kind of like inversion or a loop there and then link into this bit here and then have that uh -huh. bit go to the station there yeah but i also completely agree with jasmine as well i would personally be tempted to maybe do away with this coaster completely mm -hmm. which is going to bring back two three percent i would be tempted to get rid of that coaster which would again would be another two or three percent maybe just a couple of less rides in this park to then be able to go around and detail and decorate a bit more maybe just some of the ones that you've taken from the workshop because for me personally mm -hmm. the first half of this ride before it went to the lift hill was the best ride of the park the first half was it was really smooth great inversions great banking was superb it was just that second half that, that ruined it yeah. for me yeah yeah but besides that yeah great job so anyway before we close out the video jasmine you've yet to be able to experience this three-word park review oh okay let's see uh well, we, I mean, we've got to say gunshots, fire, and <laughs> that was in the description. <laughs> well, was it gunshots, no. fires, and chains, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, I, I won't say that, but I will say probably uh, intense, uh, scenic, and... Uh, I don't know what my third one would be. Uh, theming. <laughs> Lots well, of theming. <laughs> we'll go with that. <laughs> Lots of theming, but some intense coasters, and but nice scenic views uh, in between. I think that was way more than three words, but I'm going to let you uh, off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to let you off with that one. Uh, my three-word park review would be less workshop, please. <laughs> That's more than three words. No, it's not. Workshop is one Less word. Works oh. <laughs> Less workshop, please. Oh, oh, okay, fine. Workshop is, is one word. Okay. There we go. Um, I want to see <laughs> either you come back and revisit this park and just remove some of the workshop items because I think yours are better. Or moving into your next park, just a little bit more self-belief in yourself that you can do it trust in your own skill in the game what i've seen here some of the stuff that you have done is amazing i'd really like to see more of that apologies if i have missed some of the stuff in this park obviously just because of the amount of things to see maybe i have missed some stuff so i do apologize but thank you ever so much everybody for joining me thank you jasmine for joining me in the spotlight it's been an absolute pleasure having you along glad we've finally been able to do it yeah this was fun <laughs> and make sure and go and check out jasmine's channel at m and j games she single-handedly carries that channel michael has nothing to do with it <laughs> whatsoever so make sure and go and like, give them a like and a subscribe as well uh, jasmine has just had done her fair i'm tripping over my own words now i've come to the end of the spotlight you can tell i'm tired you can tell my voice is hurting <laughs> jasmine's just on her very first park spotlight by herself so make sure and go and check that out on her channel i'll leave the link down for that down below but if you haven't already make sure to leave a like and subscribe on this video i need to go i'm tired i don't even know what i'm saying anymore take care stay safe look after yourselves and i will see you in a couple of days for another planet coaster spotlight bye everybody say goodbye jasmine bye